something else we're seeing, these temperatures, they're dropping. That's right. If you're craving some cooler temperatures. <laughs> for Christmas time. Exactly. Right in time for Christmas. I know it's kind of hard to get in the holiday spirit when we're talking about highs in the low and mid 80s. Well, you know, friends, those are a thing of the past. Honestly, I don't know if we're going to be hitting the 80 degree mark for the rest of December. I'll be honest here. Based upon the latest trends, just don't see it. We have multiple systems coming through, each of which will help to drive in those cooler temperatures. We actually have another one coming through right now as we speak. Live look at overcast skies, even some light rain showers now falling here in downtown Fort Myers from the Luminary Hotel as we look live northward. 72 degrees. Your dew point here in Fort Myers also has crept up. No longer in that nice, dry, refreshing range in the 50s where it was for most of the day. Instead, yes, it's, it's 67. So we are going to be dealing with these scattered rain showers throughout the evening period as a little disturbance moves across southwest Florida. Not worried about any severe weather, not worried about any heavy rainfall. Nonetheless, you will be noticing if you are traveling tonight, some of those light to moderate scattered showers across the region. Believe it or not, today, you know, we are basically right on target for this time of year. 60 degrees this morning, a couple of degrees above normal, up to 78 this afternoon. Also pretty close to average, but when you average everything out, we are actually still two degrees above average. That said, tomorrow afternoon, we are looking for a much cooler afternoon ahead. So we're going to be dropping those temperatures. Like I said, behind each of these disturbances, behind each of these little waves of energy, we will slowly be seeing those temperatures trending downward. Here we go right now. Those showers moving through generally on the light to moderate side. Right now, that atmosphere is still trying to saturate because that dew point had to rise out of the 50s, climbing through the 60s. Once it hooks up with that temperature, that's when we'll actually start to see these showers reach the ground. So right now, your radar looking a lot more ominous than it actually is. Regardless, though, we're going to be dealing with these scattered rain showers throughout the evening time frame, continuing into tomorrow morning. This is 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, and notice that potential for those scattered rain showers. So heading off to church, heading out to play, regardless of your plans tomorrow, morning just want to give you a heads up but by 9 to 10 a.m. those showers then will be clearing out right here at lunchtime that cooler drier air building in your highs for tomorrow afternoon only climbing into the lower 70s lots of sunshine though expected for the afternoon so it's mainly just the early morning time frame that I expect that potential for some of those showers as for your Monday Mostly sunny, becoming mostly cloudy for your afternoon. Otherwise, your Monday shaping up really nicely, too, for outdoor plans, staying on the dry side before yet another cold front comes in and ramps up those rain chances for your Tuesday. Check it out here in your seven day forecast. Breezy with scattered rain for Tuesday behind it will drop back your temperatures in a stronger, more potent front comes through Thursday into Friday. And that, my friends, will drop your Christmas Eve and Christmas Day into the 50s for afternoon highs.